Nice. <laughs> yeah, we're four years old. Nice, precise. Precision. Nice. What we got here are brackets that I made out of some box tube. This is obviously a bolt going through it, and then I welded the head on this side. And so these are definitely way longer than I need them to be, but whatever, you know what I mean? The bolt will bolt to the fender. Just put a little extra paint here because the show's wearing off. No, oh, I missed the spot right here too. Anyway, plenty of cleanup to do in the future still. Bumper over here. So two mounting points, just like on the regular M-Tech bumper. You can maybe see over there. Just gonna reinforce those and I might move them um, just depending on how they fit. We'll see. Over here, over here, that's where the brackets are gonna go. So I'm gonna lay down a little fresh fiberglass to close up that hole. Get those brackets molded in with fiberglass then I will have a hidden way to mount this bumper on the car from the sides. It should be pretty sturdy at that point because then we'll be working with these holes on each side, brackets on the corner, and uh, obviously a bar underneath. So it should be good and solid. Got a little strip of foam on top there. So working with that. So this is what we're dealing with to start our day. So we fiberglassed, didn't video any of it because it was a sticky mess and things set really quick. So Kitty, you're really helpful. Thanks. So those are done now. Obviously you need to clean them up and I'm going to put a little paint on them and then we're going to try to fit everything. I'm just going to crawl up the ladder to figure out everything we need to do and we'll go from there. Not super pretty, but they're old and strong. So we'll see. We have a front bumper. This is the part I've been waiting for. All right, so check it out. We're real tight in here. Got that in the back. I got a washer and a rubber washer inside there. So that's what we got there. Bottom side, we have dirt and way over there. Obviously in the front, the bash bar. Everything's pretty solid up here. We got a little baby touch in there. Maybe a little more finessing in the future. Same over here, but She's solid. I'd even pulled the fenders out a little bit, so I'm a real wide boy. She's on. All right, so I'm here at a powder coaters. He didn't want to do this masking because I want to polish lips, so he let me stay here and do it. This is the result right now. So we're gonna get it painted BMW silver, and then I'll polish the lips, and hopefully these will be done. Moving along, we'll get it done. All right, this is what me and Kitty are working with today cat's working with that bird over there so we just got these back from powder coat they're looking good and the lips got blasted as well but they're not coated so i'm gonna have a little more fun sanding those but yeah we're gonna polish these i think i might already said today the only defect i got on one of them is the masking tape pulled up on this see a little bubblage over here tape pulled up and kind of moved it which is fine one thing i also noticed with these wheels is this one's kind of an odd one it doesn't have these little markings in here like all the other gta ones have um it matches up with the lip a little bit different these ones have a little bit more of a bevel and the back of this one is welded on the back whereas the other ones are just smooth like so so i don't really know what's up with this one but it looks close enough what we're starting with today is i might have already told a previous story of the first machinist that machine this hub bore out made it too big so we had to put a spacer in so when this got powder coated a few of them sealed up nicer on that edge but I'm just putting a little bit of paint in there to make sure water and stuff doesn't get in there uh, and you know Kat and I aren't fucking around today so we're definitely not fucking around are we no. starting with that then we're gonna wash them up start uh, wet sanding to get these things Nice and polished, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm excited to see the difference. We got tires in here too. Went with the Michelin Pilot Sport 
AS3 Plus, baby. I don't know if they call it like a high performance all season or something like that. I've only driven these once on an M3 or M4, newer ones, and they were super duper impressive overall. So these are gonna be the daily road trip, whatever tires. So I'm excited. Fresh rubber is always just, feels good, baby. Let's get to work, cat. Are you gonna go take a nap? Cat nap time. Okay, here we go. Two hours later. So, we've messed with two of them. Here's what I'm learning. And plenty of you already probably knew. Trying to sand and polish aluminum that has been sandblasted is a pain in the ass. Uh, this is after a lot of hand work. You can clearly still see all the crazy pitting. This was after uh, one spot of a lot of hand work up to 1500 grit. Still lots of spots. Up against the spokes is the hardest to do. This sucks. My fingers hurt. And I'm like not even halfway done with only half the wheels. These things have been a test every step of the way. Alright, so didn't really update, but working on polishing wheels by running the car. It's a bunch of sandpaper everywhere from the first one. It took me quite a few hours, but saved my fingernails. This could polish up a little bit better yet. The start, it's like splatter from the polish. That's what we're working with. Seven miles an hour. Forgot to check how many miles this is added, but right now we're chilling at 313 on wheel number two. There she goes. So we noticed while doing this, my mileage goes up. So yesterday I did about uh, 30 miles. Today we got Alex helping. Doing both sides. All right. I think we're pretty much done. Quite a few sessions of trying to get that sandblasting out of the lips. In the end, it helped have Alex on the other side of the car. Good proof that my limited slip differential works great. So we got it ceramic coated. Let's photo, just let him sit in the sun a little bit here to cure before we throw tires on in a couple days. They're looking good, dude. So we got the cars all shined up for the local day butt at the local in and out Euro meet. Well, nice, but I keep forgetting about the final touch that I keep forgetting about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here. And boom. It's fresh. Right, cat. <laughs>